This time I'm really screwed. My head is throbbing. My nose is broken. And unless a miracle happens, I'm soon going to be ripped into thousands of pieces. It's hard to believe that everything started out so easy. Two weeks ago, an art collector from South Africa offered me a ridiculous amount of money to find a long-lost artifact and return it to him. I developed a somewhat dubious reputation in the art trade. Preston Sterling, hunter of rare artifacts. Rumor had it that if the price was right, I would dive down to even the deepest of wrecks or climb the highest peaks in order to meet the demands of my clients. My first task in my current job was simply to travel to the southwest of England, to Glastonbury Abbey to be precise. But the billionaire Vincent Omega wanted nothing less than for me to find Excalibur, the legendary sword of King Arthur. Treasure hunters have been searching for this artifact for centuries, but have yet to be successful. My client, however, had discovered an extremely promising lead. The tomb of the king had been found on the site of the old abbey many years before, and rumour had it that the abbey's archive was home to a number of well-kept secrets. Oh crap. A simple door would have been too easy, huh? There's a chain blocking the door. I hope the guards didn't hear anything. I'm in luck. The coast is clear. I probably shouldn't go any further. The corridor is full of guards.
Well, well, well. This official version of the Chronicle actually leaves out a very interesting development. The truth is that the excavations in 1962 led to the discovery of an important artifact. The item discovered was some kind of will drawn up for King Arthur. But why is it being kept secret? It's time for me to get to the bottom of this question and thoroughly explore the archive. A solid steel door? If the secret archive isn't hidden behind it, I'll eat my hat. The sensor can measure even the smallest of sound waves. Maybe that can help me to crack the combination lock somehow. Open Sesame! Well, that's that job done. If the information provided by my client is right, this very archive contains clues that might lead me to Excalibur.
It's a plan for the prayer times in the Abbey. Morning prayers are at 6 a.m., midday prayers are at 1 p.m., and even song is at 8 p.m. The painting depicts King Arthur and the Sword of Excalibur. Legend has it that Arthur was given the sword as a present by a fairy, the Lady of the Lake. What a shame. There's no safe hidden behind the painting. I guess that would have been too good to be true. There's a light bulb missing. Somebody's written a secret code on the painting. It fits! Preston Sterling, you're an absolute genius! The safe only contained this round stone and this folder. This looks interesting. The text is written in Latin and is very faded, but I'm sure I can decipher it. In the year of our Lord, 1191, Three brothers of our order discovered a tomb covered with a stone slab in the west of the old chapel. They were able to make out the following inscription on the slab. Here lies interred the famous King Arthur on the Isle of Avalon. Under the slab, they found the skeletons of a tall man and a woman. The man was holding a rune stone and a piece of leather containing an inscription allegedly written by the wizard Merlin. The writing on the leather stated that Merlin decided to go against the deceased king's request that the sword of Excalibur be returned to the Lady of the Lake. The wizard believed that the king would be healed in the Kingdom of Avalon and return at some point in time. He therefore wanted to temporarily bring the powerful weapon back to Arthur's birthplace so that Excalibur could be kept safely there until its owner returned. Wow! So the will found in the tomb wasn't written by Arthur, 
but was a message from his closest confidant, Merlin. According to the message, it wasn't one of the knights of the Round Table who took Excalibur, as legend tells us, but actually Merlin himself who wanted to hide the sword. If I understand correctly, I now also know precisely where. At Tintagel Castle, the birthplace of King Arthur. Damn it! I've got to get out of here! My jeep isn't far away. I've got to shake off the guards first, though. Once I had shaken off the guards, I made my way directly to the county of Cornwall in the southwest of England. If the clues found in Arthur's tomb were right, Excalibur may well still be hidden among the ruins of Tintagel. Stop! The island is closed to visitors until further notice. Hello to you too. Surely a tourist like me who's travelled here from far away can quickly take some photos over there, right? I'm sorry, but there are no exceptions to the rule. Okay then, if you say so. The stone won't budge. The stone won't... This stone looks like the one I found in Glastonbury. The only difference is that this one contains a setting sun. The coast here is absolutely covered in thick reeds. Nope, I can't tear the hard reeds with my bare hands. Hello, sir. No, oh, can I help you, lad? I want to visit the ruins of Tintagel. Why is that? The government has leased out the entire cliff to a Japanese company which immediately put up that barrier and deployed guards from a security firm to keep watch. People have been banned from the island ever since. How bizarre. 
But isn't there another way to get across? Well, I yes, yes, there is. When the tide's out, you can cross a couple of cliffs to get to the bay leading to the island. Can you tell me how to get there? Well, you're in luck. High tide is still a couple hours away. Just follow the path over there behind the cliff. It will take you down to the West Bay. Thanks. I owe you one. I'm happy to help, kid. Just make sure you get back before high tide. And whatever you do, don't let them catch you. Arthur was allegedly born and raised on this small rocky island. This stone looks like the one I found in Glastonbury. The only difference is that this one contains a setting sun. Hang on a second. 
There's another one of these stone symbols under this pile of rubble. Hmm, that section of the cliff looks like it was only broken recently. The heavy-duty machines on the island probably made it collapse. These niches in the stone wall certainly aren't natural, and somebody decided to hide them under a huge pile of rubble. But why? What have they got to hide? That's the way up to the ruins of Tintagel. Going up there is too much of a risk. I'm bound to get caught. Maybe I'll try later when it's dark. Until then, I can take a look around the beach down here. I'll bring the stone back once I've finished my job. I swear. Well, will you look at that? Unlike the derelict ruins of the castle, this vault looks really intact. In fact, if you ask me, I don't think anyone has been here in centuries. This cave may indeed date right back to the times of Arthur and Merlin. I should definitely take a closer look around. Maybe I really will find clues as to the whereabouts of Excalibur. I'm skinny and sporty. Of course, I could easily fit through this crevice in the wall. Nevertheless, I get the feeling that this cave is exactly where I'm supposed to be. The gemstone is firmly fixed in the lid of the chest.
I haven't got the foggiest idea how to open that. An empty holder. The candle stand is a bit too heavy to drag around with me. The candles look like they can still be used. The draft in here is too strong. Herbology. If I had more time, I'd love to flick through them, but there's no way that they will tell me anything more about Excalibur.
an empty holder. The gemstone is There's another, even bigger cave on the other side. That's what's causing the strong wind to whistle through the room. The boards, re the boards reduce the draft a bit, but there's still plenty of wind whistling through the open cracks. The draft in here is too strong. I'll leave the boards here for now. They don't completely seal the crevice, but they certainly help to get rid of a lot of the draft. I cut off a thick bunch of the grass. That might work. The thick reeds will seal off the remaining openings and finally get rid of this darn breeze. These scrolls are full of alchemical formulas. I don't think there'll be much help on my search for Excalibur.
Wow, that's an impressive light show. There were four thin copper rods hidden under a floor slab. What on earth just happened? Old Celtic runes. If I understand correctly, this is Merlin's own personal account of what happened after Arthur's death. According to the text, 
The wizard took on the task of keeping the Sword of Excalibur in a secret location until the king returned to the living from Avalon. The problem came when Arthur's resurrection took longer than expected, and his old followers in England started to worry. The heirs of the king had namely converted to Christianity, meaning that Merlin, as a believer of the old Celtic faith, was forced to leave the country. The text ends with Merlin stating that he wanted to seek refuge in France. He saw reason that fulfilling Arthur's final request and returning Excalibur to its Celtic brothers with the Lady of the Lake was actually the best thing to do. Hmm. That means that Excalibur isn't in England, but somewhere in France. And I'm pretty sure I know exactly where to look. Legend has it that Merlin ended up in Brittany after Arthur's death and settled in Brosilion Forest. In that case, I should get a move on and hop on the next ferry to France. I'd better leave the crevice closed for now. Damn it. High tide has come in. The entire beach is already flooded. I'm a good swimmer, but trying to find my way out of here between the sharp-edged rocks would be lethal. I need to find another way out, and fast. The water is getting higher and higher and the cave will soon be flooded too. Saved. At least, I thought I was. The guys that rescued me were my competitors and worked for the Japanese art collector Yakamoto. They were professional treasure hunters just like me. The only difference, these guys were ruthless. They just kept on interrogating me until I led them right to Excalibur's hiding place. And how did they choose to thank me? They left me here in a shed bang in the middle of the Breton Forest, together with a fistful of dynamite and a ticking timer. Never trust a treasure hunter. Just ten more seconds and then my time is up. Surprised, Preston Sterling? Surprise doesn't even come close. God, I've never been so happy to see you. To be honest, I actually stood by the door for a while and wondered if I should really save you. 
You certainly deserve to be blown into pieces, you bastard! I'm still really sorry about what happened in Spain. But business is business. You know that, right? Of course I do. That's why I'm offering you a deal. You see, I know that you're looking for Excalibur. If you let me help you, you can still beat Yakamoto. Before we get started, how did you know where I was? We work for the same client. What? Omega sent you? He's a man who likes to play it safe. I'm your backup, if you like. Wow. I guess he really doesn't trust me nearly as much as he made out. Don't take it personally. All he cares about is the sword. He's been looking for it for half his life. You have to understand that for him, it's more than just some old, long-lost artifact. Do you know more about it, then? No. I certainly don't believe in tales of absolute power and never getting injured, if that's what you mean. I think if it really exists, it would bring its owner a pretty huge pile of dough. Okay, then. Let's get going and secure our reward. Where do we need to look? Come with me. What makes you so sure that Excalibur is hidden here? Arthur wanted the sword to be returned to the Lady of the Lake. Legend has it that it was her who gave it to him in the first place. This lake is known as the Fairy's Mirror and is the largest body of water in the region. I am sure that this is exactly where Merlin chose to hide Excalibur. And you really believe that we can still find the sword down there after so many centuries? Merlin didn't just throw it into the water. There's a special hiding place right at the bottom of the lake where the sword could remain undamaged. The problem is Yakamoto's guys are already underwater. Yes, but that means that this time I can be the one to give them a nasty surprise. I can deal with them just fine. What's more important is that I need to find a diving kit first. Then hurry up! I'll wait here. <laughs> 